What is up you guys, I hope you're doing well. I'm Tony Fuentes and today we're editing the style behind Fran Mart. And Fran Mart is a Spanish photographer who lives in Scotland and his style resembles the location where he lives and his life in general. We can see a lot of landscape photography of the countryside in Scotland, a lot of portraits of himself, of his dog, of his cat, his cottage and the sheep and everything towards the countryside in Scotland. So his style is very flat, it kind of reminds me of Garrett King's. Now Garrett King's is very flat as well but it's tending towards the warmish tones. Now if you don't know who Garrett King is, I'll put the link up here to his video where we break down his style but Garrett King's is tending towards the warmish tones meanwhile Fran Martz is tending towards the coldish vibes you can see a lot of blues in the shadows the blacks are also raised and the highlights are also dimmed down and as well we see some greens are desaturated and tending towards the yellowish tones meanwhile the blues also are desaturated so his style is very fantastic we can see there's some retouching in his portraits and in his uh, mascot photography, I don't know, pet photography, we want to call it like that. So let's jump into Lightroom and edit his style, guys. So guys, once in Lightroom, we open up our images, and in this case, there's some self-portraits of myself on a moody day. Uh, I took them myself because we're in quarantine and I don't have anyone else to take them. And some portraits of my dog, which is the same breed as Fran Mart's dog, uh, Wayne Malarner. So let's go down and edit this, guys. Now, I have to say that the style that we're editing from Fran Mart is the latest or more acquainted to his color grading from the latest posts. If you scroll down his profile, you can find that his style used to be very dark, very hard contrasty and with a lot of blacks. But well, you can do that by just desaturating this style and adding a lot more contrast and a lot more punch in the blacks. So let's start off with this one and compare it with this one with C on our keyboard. Now, if we see them side by side, we can see the colors that we want to achieve. And Fran Mart's style isn't very complicated to edit, guys, so it's going to be quite easy. It's not going to be anything uh, going all the way down to camera calibration like we did with Dylan First, which is a much more complex style. Here we can see how the greens in my photograph are more vivid and in his are very desaturated and very dimmed down as well. There's not much contrast. So let's go and edit this, guys. So we're going to create a preset, guys, that will serve as a base to edit. And then we can apply some further adjustments depending on the photograph. Remember that temperature and tint, the white balancing and the contrast and exposure will depend on each image. These I'm not going to touch it. That will depend on every single image and the lighting situation on each of them. So first thing I'm going to do is move the highlights and make the image a lot more flat towards Fran Mart style. So we can move the slider up and down to move the highlights. For example, we can type in the number over here or we can simply put the cursor or the mouse over the name, in this case highlights. And with plus on our keyboard and negative, we can move the values by 5%. So let's move it to a minus 20 with minus on our keyboard. Meanwhile, the shadows, we're going to move them up the other way around with a plus to a plus 20. The white, we don't want pure white or very highlighted whites. We're going to go with a minus 20 as well. And the blacks, we're going to go with a plus 10. Okay, so the image is looking a bit more flat. Now, presence in clarity and texture and decays, he basically doesn't move them. That will depend on each image. He mostly doesn't use any clarity. Instead of going up with the clarity, we're going to go down with a minus 15. And decays and texture, we're just going to leave them just like that. Meanwhile, saturation and vibrance, we are going to move them. We're going to go with a plus 10 on the vibrance and a minus 10 on the saturation and as we can see the image is starting to be a bit more desaturated next up the tone curve now the tone curve isn't going to require too much editing we're just going to put two points one in the highlights one in the shadows we're going to lift the blacks by moving this last point up not too much but just around there we're going to move the shadows up to make the image a lot more flat and then we're going to dim down the highlights just moving this point all the way down now we're not going to move into the red, greens and tone curves, which is just a very simple edit, guys. Now let's go down to the HSL tabs. And first thing in hue, we're going to move some values. The orange and red, we're not going to move them. That will affect the skin tones and his skin tones normally are pretty natural and pretty spot on. So we're not going to move that. We are going to move the yellows towards the orangey tones and the greens towards the yellowish. And as we can see, that affects the foliage in the trees, guys. Next up, the aquas, we're going to go with a plus 28. Meanwhile, the blues, we're going to go to a minus 30, just altering that ever so slightly towards the aquas. And then the purples, we're going to change them all the way down to the blues. Okay, next up, saturation. Okay, now in saturation, we're basically going to desaturate everything with a minus 10 with the reds, minus 10 as well for the oranges, minus 25 for the yellows, minus 5 for the greens and for the aquas. And let's start off with a minus 30 for the blues because I do have a blue shirt here. But normally in his photographs, the sky is completely desaturated towards the whitish tones. And lastly, the purple is going to go with a minus 23. 
Now we can see the comparison once again and we're nearing towards the style that we want guys, at least in the color grading. Now the greens are very desaturated like in his image and as well here we can see a bit of the blue in the sky, it's not too much but it's resembling a bit of the blues that we left in. Now in split tone, if we jump into his images we can see a little bluish tint in the shadows and that's going to be applied with a color in the shadows we're not going to apply anything to the highlights because that will affect skin tones and the sky and everything like that so we're going to go with a hue of 212 and if we move the slider of the saturation up we can see that it's a very uh, aqua tone so let's go with a 10 in the saturation only and it's a very subtle adjustment if we click this button on and off we can see how it moves and applies in the shadows so it's a very nice tint that we've added guys Next up grain and vignette, he doesn't add anything that will depend on you guys. If we zoom into his images, we can see that the images are very clean. There's not much grain going on. So it's a very natural looking image guys. Okay, so now we have to do some further editing in this photograph, but the preset is complete. We're gonna go to this tab, go to presets, and here in the plus sign, we're gonna hit select, add preset, create preset. And here we type in the name and then add all the values that we want. Remember to unmark white balancing and exposure and contrast that will depend on each image and you hit create. And now the preset will apply in your user presets over down here. In this case, I've already added it to the edit like preset pack. As we can see, it's over here as friend marked. Again, in the side by side, we can see that his image has a little bit more contrast. So it's very easy to correct. Now we do go to the basic corrections and in contrast, we're just going to ump it up ever so slightly. And there, there we have it, guys. Now let's apply the preset and see how it performs on other images. So let's apply the preset and see how it performs, guys. We're going to go over here to presets and select it. And automatically, the program will load all the settings that we've just adjusted. Now, as we can see, this image is a bit more dark, taking in different situation of light. So let's brighten it up by moving the exposure up as well. So this is the comparison and the colors that we want to achieve. And as we can see, this image is taking in a much more misty day, but we want to bring back a bit of the warmish tones in here. Another thing that we can notice is that he's used the brush tool to highlight parts of his dog, including the eyes and a bit of the shiny parts of his back. So let's do that and go to the develop tab once again. And first of all, let's make the image a lot more warmer. So it's resembling the style of that image in particular, add a bit more contrast. Happy with that. And next up, we're gonna zoom in and with the brush tool, we're gonna apply a little bit more exposure and clarity to the eyes. Okay, so add a bit more exposure and some contrast. Okay, I'm happy with that. And as we can see now, it's a lot more punchy and a lot more dramatic. Now, next up, just gonna add another brush tool, a bit more exposure just around there and a bit more clarity, make the brush bigger. And I'm just gonna color grade the highlighted parts already from the dog. And now we can see the before and after with Y on our keyboard. And it's looking pretty good, guys. What do you think? Let's see the comparison once again. And yeah, I'm quite happy with the results, guys. Okay, next up, Let's do another one. Okay, here we have another portrait of myself. Let's crop it for Instagram with a 4x5. Okay, let's apply the preset once again. And it's looking pretty good, guys. Now, in this case, I'm going to retouch it once again. So this time, I'm going to retouch myself with the brush tool. That didn't sound pretty good. Just a little bit more exposure and a bit less clarity in the hands, in the elbows, just to make the subject pop up just a little bit more. Hit done. And I'm quite happy with the results, guys. Very desaturated, very flat. That's the style that we're looking for. Okay, so let's do another one, guys. So in this case, I tried to recreate this image with the dog. Again, his one is taken with a wide angle and mine is taken with an equivalent of 45. So we don't have the same focal distance. And in the other hand, his is taken in the fields, in the open with a lot of mist. And this one is a bit more contrasty under the shadow of the forest. So let's edit this one and try to resemble and acquire the same tones, guys. Okay, so let's apply the preset and see how it performs. Now we can see it's a lot more contrasty. So in this case, I'm gonna nail down the contrast just a little bit down, amp up the exposure ever so slightly, and then I'm gonna desaturate basically a, a, a bit of the vibrance and a bit of the saturation. Now I'm not liking the greens over here and the yellows, they're very prominent. So I'm gonna go all the way down to HSL and here I'm going to desaturate a bit of the yellows and a bit of the greens. Okay, quite happy with those results now. Now the boots are a bit too punchy, so I'm just going to desaturate a bit of the orange as well. And now it's looking very desaturated. Now let's pump up a bit of the subject to make it pop up just a little bit more. Okay, now in this case, I think it's a bit too desaturated. I overdid it, so I'm just going to return the saturation and the vibrance up. 
and with Y on our keyboard we can see the before and after and I think it's looking pretty good guys quite flat but as well it has a bit of a punch with the retouching that we did so as I mentioned before guys from my start it's quite easy to replicate there's not too many settings that we have to move to make the preset but in each cage we, we do have to adjust it depending on the tones of the greens in particular and further along add some detail with the brush tool guys just a little disclaimer guys i'm not taking any authority on his style it's just my interpretation on his color grading maybe he does it in a completely different manner so if you want to go support him go and follow him on instagram and remember the preset that we've just created is linked down below in the edit like preset pack if you want to go check it out and if you did like the video can you please give it a like it really makes a difference i consider subscribing hit the notification bell to be notified when i upload the next video I'm Tony Fuentes, cheers to all of you and see you in the next one.